Hey, what's happening guys? We're back talking a little bit more about this grow controller that I'm going to be designing and building. We went over all this stuff in the first video and I've taken your comments into consideration, which are great. And I have made a few changes that we're going to talk about. Okay, instead of an Arduino, we're going to go with an ESP32 simply because it has Wi-Fi. So in that case, we can transmit the status of the system to something like MQTT and be able to get alerts and stuff to a phone. So that's good. And then we had talked about the design of the board and using a switch to switch between modes for the lights and then tack switches for temperature and humidity and then like uh, emergency switches for water or nutrients but well, we're going to get rid of all that and we're going to put in a TFT LCD display so everything can just be controlled via a, a touch screen now for our sensors we talked about temperature we're going to use uh, BME 280 same with humidity, it'll pick up both those. Really good I squared C sensor. And then you guys told me that I need to be looking out for hum or for pH as well. So we're gonna need two humidity sensors because my research tells me that we need to monitor the pH of the water and nutrients going in and the water and nutrients coming out. And then we're going to use two separate tanks. Probably not going to be tank, probably going to be buckets. But, you know, two separate reservoirs. We're going to have a water only and then a water plus nutrient because we're going to be using a, a schedule. So it's going to be two times water and then one time water and nutrient. And to do that... We're simply going to use peristaltic pumps. If you don't know what a peristaltic pump is, I'll try and crude, crudely draw one for you. So here is a piece of our clear or frosted, you know, flexible plastic hose. We have one end in the reservoir, and the other end has our, you know, whatever applicator tip to display the stuff so the way the peristaltic pump works is you have basically a, a curved wall like right here and then here in the center of our pump we basically have like fingers that come out and they kind of press The hose against that outer wall so what happens is as it starts moving in this direction it picks up the liquid it starts pulling it up here and then a portion of liquid will be trapped here then as this moves it'll now be trapped here then it will be trapped here and then it will be pushed out here it's a really nice system because your pump never has to touch what you're pumping. And the reason it's called a peristaltic pump is because it's based on peristalsis, which is the human or mammal body activity of swallowing. Works the same way, kind of just pushes the things around. So let's go over to the computer and put together a shopping list for these. And keep coming with the comments. I really appreciate it. All right, here's the list I created on Amazon. Granted, things are going to be a lot less expensive if you order from AliExpress, which I may or may not do. I really haven't decided. But if you look here, the total for our entire uh, botanical controller here is going to be $136.50. So let's start at the bottom here, which is the first thing I picked on the list. This is the... Uh, 
high let go ESP32 W room development board. The reason I picked this one, I've used it before. And if I look hard enough, I can probably find one around. So that'll work out pretty well. Next, we're going to stick with the high let go. I've used them before. They, they make decent stuff. So what we got here is the 2.8 inch SPI TFT LCD. So you can see our connections there for the touchscreen and connections. Got bigger? Yeah. All right. So right here are the connections for the touchscreen. Right here are the connections for the I squared C screen. Pretty simple. Then we have a BME 280. This is a temperature, pressure, humidity sensor. It is also an I squared C device. I've used these a lot. Use the uh, Adafruit library with them. Super easy. Now we're going to need two pH sensors. I don't know if this is the best one, but this is the one that I seem to find to be the most reasonably priced one. So what we have here are the Atlas Scientific Gravity Analog pH meter. We'll need two of those. And then we're on to our peristaltic pumps. There you go. You can see right there how it worked. Those three little circles rotate around there and create a vacuum effect. And there you go. You can see how it works. They're pretty cool. And what's good about them is they don't get uh, contaminated by what you're doing. And finally, we're going to use an eight channel relay module. So you figure we're going to have one relay for a fan, one relay for the dehumidifier, one relay for the lights, one for each pump. What am I missing? Oh yeah, nutrients and water, and that's going to leave us a spare one. So once again, our costs in putting this thing together is going to be around 136.50. If you guys are interested, I could work up a price list off this from uh, AliExpress. You'll probably make it, you know, half that price. Let me know. I will put a link to this uh, shopping list down below. So if you guys are interested, you can get the parts and follow along. All right. It's Friday. It's hot. That's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to get these parts ordered, and next week we'll be back. Try and put together a prototype of this device. That's it. I'm out. Peace.